Hey friends, a quick word of um, loving warning <laughs> or correction. You may, you may call it correction. Um, yeah. So, you know how many times it's very common and I'm not saying this is the only thing, okay? I'm just saying that this is something that can happen. How many times in general, um, it's very often, I guess, the body of Christ don't really experience the Lord much in their daily walk with Jesus, in their devotionals, or even uh, in church services. And, you know, like, there are some people that even discuss if the experiential side is a must. And I would say, <laughs> try to have a relationship without experiencing anything and tell me if it works, you know? Try to have, like, marry somebody through a photo that you just look and they don't talk, don't communicate, they're not they're just, you know? And, and let me know if that's going to work for you because <laughs> typically... That's crazy. We shouldn't, um, yeah, we shouldn't, you know, obviously accept that. And why it has to be different with the Lord? He is an experiential God. You know, that, that's the whole purpose that he redeemed us back so that he would have relationship. Um, but it's a common thing, though, that people don't, don't sense anything, don't experience anything. It's almost as if God is just a an idea you know he's not a person that it's present for many christians and and i just want to share something here so that you, you we check our hearts it's a heart check all right uh yeah psalm 135 verse 15 to 18 the idols of the nations are silver and gold the work of men hands they have mouths, but they do not speak. Eyes, and they have, but they do not see. They have ears, but they do not hear. Nor is there any breath in their mouth. Those who make them are like them. And so is everyone who trusts in them. So it's talking about idols. It's talking about idolatry. Friends, Idolatry is the cause that many times people just don't sense God. You would say, why? I don't have any statues in my house. I used to be a Catholic and, you know, worship Mary, whatever saint, but I don't anymore. That's great. Good job. You shouldn't. But there are other things that could be idolatry and we don't even know. I once was listening to a teaching from Derek Prince. And he was saying how idolatry is very present in church. And then he said, well, by this statement, you're probably wondering what I'm talking about because you don't see anybody bringing any idols to the church. And he said, this is not what I'm talking about. And then he said, do you know that, for example, stubbornness is idolatry? <laughs> ha, ha, ha. Exactly. Um, or very, uh, like stubbornness would be like, like a very strong idea of something when you hold on to something that I like too strongly that you don't let it go um it could be idolatry because it could be like um an obsession right so it says here the work of men's hands sometimes your own work if you're an alcoholic it could be a an idol Sometimes even the ministry, if all you do is just like about the ministry, everything you post is about the ministry, everything you think about is about the ministry. What can I do? What do I do? What am I going to do? It's always about doing, doing, doing. And you're like, are you kidding me? You know, listen, Jesus is coming back for a bride. He's not coming back for doers. He's not coming back for elves. He's not coming back for employers. He's not coming back for ministers. He's coming back for a bride. And in the natural, what is it that a bride should think? If she's a bride, she's about to get married. Typically, all my friends that 
you know, got married, like typically before the wedding, that's all they think about. They don't think about, you know, anything else but the wedding, the, the, the bridegroom. So if Jesus is our bride, bridegroom and he's about to come, everybody's talking about, we, this is a top, like, every, it's no news that, you know, Jesus is about to come back. Jesus is coming back. So guys, what are we doing? <laughs> you know, if your heart is not burning for him, hello, wake up. So heart check. What is it that is more important? What is it that is consuming your thoughts? Maybe your job, maybe the ministry, maybe your own son, child, I don't know, a spouse, anything else. And that could be the very cause why there is no senses of the Lord. Why you just don't sense him because it says in here, has mouth, but don't speak, eyes and don't see, ears and don't hear. And uh, so is those that make them and everyone who trusts in them. Where is your trust right now? Is it in the government? Is it in your job? Um, is it in your own ministry? Where is your trust? Where is your affections? Where is my affections, right? So we need to reflect on this. And um, yeah, that's pretty serious. <laughs> Bye.